today we are playing Cupcake Roulette. <laughs> Today we have a special guest. This is my friend Tina and we decided after I had watched Caitlin Alexander and Sharon Bell do the cupcake challenge and their baking with Shartland. Yeah. So this is how much we love you Caitlin and Sharon. <laughs> um, we, we decided that it should be called Cupcake Roulette because the object of this game is to bake a lot of random things into cupcakes, mix them up, pick them at random for the other person to eat and see what happens. So let's go. So we finished mixing and we partially filled 13 of our little cupcake cups. Now we're at the mad scientist portion of this experiment. I will let our guest choose the first mystery ingredient. Okay, I have no idea. Is this our sweet and sour, our sweet sauce? sour sauce? Okay. Actually, that's really pretty with the like... That is. Orange. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to go with the sweet tarts. Mmm. Jelly. Yay. Garlic. Minced <laughs> garlic. Okay, I realize I'm Italian and I like garlic, but this may be too much for mm -hmm. me. Make sure that your cupcakes are completely cool before you do the roulette part because you'll be able to smell. Are these chocolate covered espresso beans or they're, something else? They're the Brookside, they're the dark chocolate pomegranate. They're, oh. they're not really pomegranate seeds inside, but they're a little like, they're like fruit, sort of, sort of like juice, fruit, fruit, things. Chew, fruit chew things. Fruit chew things, yeah. Super bubble bubble gum. I am actually slightly terrified mm -hmm. of baking this into a cupcake, therefore I must do it. Peach mango salsa. Uh, I think this will either be really good or really horrifying. Sweet pickle relish. <laughs> Vidalia onion vinaigrette. This is the one that I'm most excited about. This is a mini, mini Cadbury's cream egg. Baja chipotle with lime juice marinade. Mm -hmm couple of pieces of banana mm -hmm. and you can do the honors with the final one which is the barbecue sauce. It's nice hickory smoked cupcake flavor. That's right. Now we're going to top all of these off and bake them and frost them and see what we have. Whoa. I'm a little terrified. Yay frosting! We thought 13 would be an especially auspicious number for us. This one's sort of concave. I'm a little worried about that one. It's very concave. I'm just a perfectionist. This is probably not the right project for that. <laughs> you get mm, shoes. I will have you eat that one. Okay, she will have me eat this one. I can't see it. I can't tell what's in it. Maybe it's the Vidalia onion. That was the yellow I stuff. I think it might be. It's actually not bad, but I'm not even seeing any poppy seeds, so I'm not sure that's mm. what it is. I'm sure there are poppy <laughs> seeds in here somewhere. <laughs> I don't know. Eeny, meeny, right. miny, what's it, who's it, where is it, why? Let's have Tina try this one. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, no. It's barbecue sauce. <laughs> <laughs> so, like the barbecue sauce, all sinks to the bottom. The more you know. I thought I was going to get lucky. I said something dark. I was like, ooh, maybe I had the Cadbury's cream egg. No, I did not. Oh. Here, you can have a mound of frosting. Mound of frosting. That's always That's good. cute. So. Something really yellow at the bottom. There's pink, yellow, and there's red. Was it candy? Was it the sweet yeah, tarts? I, I think it's the sweet tarts. Mmm. That's a really good. I approve of the sweet tarts. Do the sweet tarts. The sweet tarts. See, this is this is why you do this. So you, we, we have done this so you don't have to. Although it would be really awesome if you would. And if you do, send us the link. I can go back to the sweet tarts. We can. I can tell mm -hmm. what it is because it's bright yellow and bright red. Yep. Which is funny because they were like green and purple. So yeah. something weird happened with the with the food coloring that I'm I think probably doesn't bear too much thinking about. No this candy. Bubble gum. <laughs> oh boy. It was kind of unpleasant actually. I thought the bubble gum would be better than it was. I'm not sure that bubblegum should be baked. Mm, no, I don't think it should be. But sweet tarts? <laughs> go sweet for tarts, it. Go for it. So the sweet tarts were awesome. I would actually put more sweet tarts in because we just did three little tiny ones. I did this one and I'm really proud of the amount of frosting. So here you go. Okay, here we go. We'll hope that the amount of frosting is auspicious. Please, please, please be auspicious. Sharon and Caitlin had already taught us that the, that the relish was a bad idea. For some reason so... I didn't remember that. I remember the mayonnaise. 
mayonnaise. I don't like mayonnaise and I don't like mustard. However, you have to put them together in equal measure to make potato salad, which is wonderful. So, magic. I don't that's, know. Food that's is magic. Cooking alchemy. But relish. Come to relish. Oh my god. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> no, I think this is the chipotle lime stuff. Oh, okay. Which. It's not terrible. It didn't sink all the way to the bottom because I can see it like all right. the way. It's sort of marbled. Fossilized. Hmm. It's not bad. It's actually not. My brain is just kind of going. Uh huh. Maybe it's the jam. I think it is. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I live in fear. Fear is your friend. Uh huh. Is I'm pretty sure this is the salsa. Is that the salsa? Yeah. See, yeah. That's got... Yeah, the peach Oh, mango. yeah, I see pieces of peach mango. Now it's good as the chipotle and li uh, lime stuff. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. So you got the cabaret ice cream bag or the, the no, pomegranate the stuff? Pomegranate. Ooh, Which, yep, there they are. Straight to the bottom. I just got kind of the mm -hmm. edge of the chocolate. And she will continue to get the rest of the chocolate. Don't bake the Brookside. Dark chocolate pomegranate, just eat them. Ooh, I wish we had jelly beans. Those would have been good. Jelly beans would have been interesting. <laughs> and what is the verdict on the sweet and sour sauce? <laughs> that is not meant to be with a cupcake. Okay. Ugh. No sweet and sour sauce. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> she got the Cadbury cream egg. <laughs> well, but they didn't really blend together in any particular way that is interesting. It's just mm -hmm. a Cadbury cream egg inside of a cupcake. A banana, thank God. <laughs> Banana good? Mm-hmm. Yes. I'm going to cut it in half. Mm-hmm. And we're going to each take a bite at the same time. Okay. You know, I think that one might have been the garlic that you tried first, and maybe this is the Vidalia onion. Huh? Oh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, because I see the poppy seeds really? in here. Well, then in that case, the garlic actually worked. Yeah. That is my biggest surprise. I think my biggest... Unpleasant surprise was the bubble gum. Yeah. Oh, dead cupcakes. Dead cupcakes. <laughs> and thank you to my special guest today, Tina. Maybe I'll get her back some other time. It would be fun. We'll think of something. <laughs> Alrighty, we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Bye. Interesting. Interesting is a good word. Mad oh. scientist time. Ha ha ha.